Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what is good, YouTube, what is good, Twitch, you know what to do, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification, if you're on Twitch, you're already here, and you know what we about to do, before I do this, before I do this, I know I was said I was going to start here yesterday, but, yeah, I'm starting a couple hours late, um, but that's all good, it's all gravy. We need to do is we need to go get the Loras. And I keep forgetting to do it. By the way, I looked up Tisha's stats. She is <laughs> she's resistant to thrust damage. <laughs> if I knew that I would have found some other way to handle her. Uh probably would have had to upgrade a whole different weapon, but uh, you know, you live and you learn. Or I might just uh saved her until like I actually needed her, which is just for Melania. I don't really need Tish until we get to Melania. I can make do with the uh, literally any other. Well, I can make do with the uh, mimic, of course. I am full of Carnitas right now. So you hear uh, our resident pervert over there, Pitya, he's over there getting s smushed. Getting killed by his own puppets. There we go, now we got Dolores. So, this is going to be an action-packed episode, actually, if I get everything right the first try. Or, quickly enough. We're it'll be action-packed no matter what, let's say it that way. Uh, because, I'm going to basically go on the boss rush. Um, I'm going to take down Fire Giant. Then I'm going to take down... What are their names? The Goskin Duo. And then we're just going to keep going from there. Uh, Alright, so first things first. Ice Papa. I forgot how the rest of that verse goes, but don't let that distract you. Alright, that's annoying. Okay. No idea if that's going to get hurt. Okay, cool. I barely got the lock on in time for that. Cool. Um, Sword Saint Train is right there. But I do have one more bird I need to murder. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to murder it. Bop. That's a terrible place for you to be. Unless you back up into it. I like that. I like lucky. I like getting lucky like that. Okay. One more to the face. Just take it on the head. Take it to the head. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Chris Brown. Don't think about it. Be about it. Don't be scared. Take it to the head. Yeah, yeah. Can I make this jump without dying? Let's find out. Survey says not at all. Not even close. You know, I'll take the side of grace here. All right. Well, guys, we're four minutes in and I've already died once. So we're going to start that whole process all over again. on 
that guy. I think sometimes you just get a headshot and sometimes you don't. This should be a good headshot. This should be a good headshot. <laughs> that works. Alright, so to actually get down there this time, I'm going to find a ledge to drop from. Birds. No birds for a little while. So we want the Sword of Saint Trina. That's why we're here, because for the Sword of Saint Trina, by the way. That's going to be part of our uh, setup to kill the. Uh, what are their names? Goskin duo. Alright, so I have how many? I have six of these keys. Let's see how much source entry to cost. This one. One is fine. That's not bad. Gimme. Now we got the Sword of Saint Trina. We need to go to that mark on my map, which is the uh, Gale Tunnel. So it's actually kind of difficult to get into safely. Okay. Well then. Those aren't bad, but those aren't bad. So Gale Tunnel. Um This is simultaneously annoying and not that annoying. you have to drop down into here which means you're going to be trapped as soon as you do that so you commit and then you're trapped so I think it's one of the few mines that doesn't actually have a, uh, a elevator back up But I'm way over level for this area, so it should be perfectly fine. The guy I killed earlier. What does all that mean? That means we just basically kill everybody in here, honestly. I mean, that's what it really effectively means.
Let's go ahead and pop one of these. We'll probably have to use it later when we get deeper in. Golden Rule of Elden Ring. Whenever possible. Snipe. Because this game has plenty of unfair disadvantages, so whenever you can get one of your own, you take it. Oh, that's going to hit wall. Please don't. Yes, hit wall. Let me go ahead and move. Oh, never mind. I didn't think there was anybody else there. has fours. I guess all the fives are in Altus. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing of value over there, so I'm going to ignore that way. Well, it might not be nothing of value, but it's nothing that I value. Because everything I care about is, uh, yeah. Miss. That way. Look the other way, damn it. Fine, hit this guy first. I should be able, even if it won't let me lock on, I should be able to snipe like this. Or I'm gonna look too low. That's fine too. That's how I'm gonna look too high. Maybe it's just I should focus on. Low again. Oh well. It's kind of like it goes. I guess uh, I guess you could say it goes where your the bottom of her hair is if you look, if you use the mask as reference. Let's try it this way. So line up the dot, line up the hair. This looks about right. Oh yeah, that looks like it's on target. Perfect. Okay, cool. I've learned how to free aim this now. It only took, uh, how many hours of playing with this build? Uh, 45 hours. Going on 46. And I got this particular, uh, spell, like, uh, maybe 20 hours into that. Not even. The only it wasn't that. What? No way. Oh, because, yeah. Make sure to tap forward a little bit. Okay. Alright, I can just backstab this guy. Oh. What is that freaking? That wind up was ridiculous. This game, and it's like, oh, the attack's coming. It's coming, I promise. Wait five more seconds. 
Wait 10 more seconds. Wait 20 more seconds. Okay, hit. Like, shut up. Like, I should not have to memorize the time delay of... A random enemies very 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 long wind up okay let's kneel on this dude night night keep your butthole tight Like I get why they would pull out the horn, but doing it while I'm literally in your face is like, like short, sure, it'll make sure I die, but at the same time, it'll make sure you die as well. I can't name too many of uh, scenarios where people are trained to do that, to just go out there and get themselves killed. Yeah. Cool. I'm still technically trapped. But now I can leave from this side. No longer be trapped. I'm actually in Limgrave and again. Which is interesting. I forgot where I got the Regalia of Eochad. I thought Regalia of Eochad was over here. Hey, I'm tripping. But I thought it was over here. That don't look right. <sighs> Alright, where's this thing actually? Because the problem is Wiki tells you like a... Uh, Fetcher Life Wiki tells you like a... Very, um, it tells you how to skip to it, but doesn't actually tell you exactly where it's at. Like it says, can be found at the following location. Can get this early with precise jumps on the cliffs near Third Church America by the beach. Falling from the top of the cliff house. Going through Gale Cave is the intended route. Where the heck is it actually? going through Gale Cave. Alright, we'll be back later. I got something to do. Let's go handle uh, Magma. Magma one real quick. So, take a break. Get up. Yes. 
so easy to kind of get lost in here. So the question is... Do magma worms bleed? I guess is the first question. Let's find out. If they do bleed, then I'll use uh, Sepuku. If they don't bleed, then I'll use... Um, then I'll use what I used the first time. Spectral Lance. So... They do bleed. Alright, we're just going to Sepuku it to death. Let's go. Let me tears ready. I'm ready. It's right on me. Although that was a really weak enemy, I'll, I'll keep it real with you. And if I want to go back to the top, I could take that. We don't want to do that here. We want to go outside instead. So that's Moonvale. That's how you get Moonvale. I don't know how to get Regalia, a child. I know where Third Church Marker is, which is down there. Anyway, as far as these, uh, say, Southeast is the way to go. That was cute. Alright, let's see what else you can do. Thankfully... Thankfully this guy's really low level compared to me, so... Even if I play like dog poo poo... Be alright. Was it Gale Tunnel or Gale, Gale Cave? Gale Cave. That was Gale Tunnel, wasn't it? Where's Gale Cave? Is it over here? I think it is. Okay. So it's not going to be in this area. But let me see if I can take the skip. Where's the skip at? I'll take the Fetch Life, Life skip. Go to the Third Church of Marika, which is here. 
face southeast, ride into the cliff meets the water. Alright. Okay, we're here. Red hued, red hued rock. Um, one part is protruding for another. Northeast. Huh. Let's try this. I think I made it. I think. Is there a higher ledge that I need to get onto? Maybe. Let's find out if this is it first. Glowstone. Yeah, I already got it. Cool. What a skip. Alright, so that saved us going through Gale Cave because no, that was not what what I intended for an action packed episode at all. Next. Next item that we need to go get is all right, veterans armor. Let's go get it. So we're actually going to go to Castle Saul. Castle Saul is one of those places that a lot of people don't like because it's an invasion headquarters, and basically, if you summon there, you're you're going to get invaded. I'm just warning you. If you summon there, you're going to get invaded. So don't summon there, and you won't get invaded. I'm gonna kill this guy to get rid of his noise. He has doing so doesn't contribute to my game whatsoever, but it's gonna to contribute to the quality of life of of audio for this run. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can barely aim anything. There we go. About to die. All right. These are, these things have only killed me with their feet a couple times, but every, it only takes like. It only takes like it only takes like once or twice to put the fear of getting crushed in you. What makes them really, really, really bad? Wow, there's more of them. Okay, this leg's done. Is that leg just lame? Oh, never mind. That leg can move. I thought because of that. Whoa. Chill. So weird. Ouch. It's like this particular one only moves in two directions. Lies. Absolute lies. It moves in way more directions.
All right, so that kills this guy. Well, if you watch Zully, the witch, these things don't actually have a death animation. So these things aren't dying, they're just transformed into what they are. All right, cool. Now we're back. Again, if you summon here, you're just going to get killed by an invader because this is an invader's favorite place. So, instead of summoning, you just man up and deal with it. Can you get out the gate? No? Alright, we're going to start over because cause, uh, I don't like these things being alert to me before I'm even, even able to summon. I want to sneak up in there. Uh, make sure I can get my stuff off. Oh god. Alright, that's super annoying. Yeah, that's super annoying. Alright, let's go back to it. Let's get back into it. First I'm gonna use this from out here. Summon, damn it. Alright, you ready? Really? Oh wow. There's the other one. Okay, once you kill these two guys, this guy, this area gets a lot easier, a lot, a lot easier. Um, so let's go backwards. <laughs> Dang it, two thousand. So what makes this hard is just because it's at a higher level than you're used to, honestly. Level up. Arcane. Yep. So I'm literally just going to show you guys the fastest way through this castle since I don't... Everything in this castle... Oh god. Alright. Honestly, I don't even think I should have done that. But I'm going to continue anyway. Got glowing stalks. Yeah. 
Yeah, that Taker's cameo is nice. I like it. Alright, you come up here. Um, one of these ways is way down. I think it's over here, actually. So, jump on top of these bags. Let's go ahead and, uh... I got a couple I can see. So. Oh gosh. What about slam? by the bird. I always forget when that bird spawns. Alright. Second try at Castle Saul. This time I'm going to make this a lot cleaner. Oh, there's another one right there. What is that? Alright, I got time for this, bro. <laughs> oh, there's a bird. hair on it. Hair check. Walk towards it a little bit. Yo, if this hits, I'm gonna be so happy. It looks like we got a hit. <laughs> Couldn't lock on, so I free aim that. Now she's hiding. That's super annoying. Oh well. We'll deal with it later if it comes up down to it. Listen to me. Listen to me spell. What I need you to do.
Yeah, if he's trapped down there, he's trapped down there, it looks like. Alright, so. We got a couple of banished knights to kill here. Actually, these are exiles, right? Yeah, these are exiles. Ghostly exiles. Why is that? What? Alright. Now we have an actual banished knight. Just ignore that guy this time. Now, here's what you do here you believe in yourself and you run. you that. He could teleport down if he wants to. I'm surprised he hasn't. Anyway, we're back there. Or actually, I want to try from here. From the main gate. Because that's really the shortcut, is from the main gate to there. I just don't know exactly which way to go. But I think it's...
But it does let me get here without fighting any banished knights. It's just slow as hell. Alright. So with that knocked out, let's go ahead and take on our next guy. So, we're going to immediately run to like a couple issues here. Number one is that he's got two banished knights flanking him. Nothing nothing here is going to really work except for Spectral Lance, I don't think. So we're actually going to swap Spectral Lance to our main hand. And then we'll get ready to go. Traverse the miss. Summon our Mimic. So kill this guy first. Every time. Alright. Now we start doing this. I'm not sure what my Mimic is doing. Anyway. Oh yeah, I, I was way too close for that. He just really does not like my mimics here. My stamina is terrible. Does he bleed? Honest question. I don't know. Got one left. Uh, fine. Let's do this. It's better than Commander O'Neill. What the heck? Was I was I out of stamina for that or what? I don't know why I didn't dodge. That was nifty. <sighs> yeah, so the run back kind of sucks here. I'm sure that was over three minutes. Yeah, it was. Um. What do here? Do I just spam Great Oracular Bubble here? and hope that it does enough damage, or alternatively, since I'm expecting this fight to take a while, do I go for the combo? The combo. So Cerulean Hidden Tier plus Intelligence Not Crystal Tier. Only issue is I have to get it to go. Like, if I screw this up, it's a wrap. But we're going to try to get it to go. All right. Let's try a different path. We'll go left this time and then run right. 
may it may end up being the same exact thing, but hopefully that shields me from the eyes of the bird. Yeah, it worked. I actually shouldn't be using Lords of Blood, Lord of Blood's Exaltation here either. Oh wait, I just realized this really hit tier is not going to help here because I didn't equip what you called it. Well, no, it can help. I can just have to hot swap in the middle of battle. There we go. There. I tried. It almost worked. I did a ton of damage in one shot. Alright. No charging up, okay, I got you. That was really annoying. Fine, that's probably this. Oh, come on! catch because I'm expecting it to come out faster than it does yeah roll left if you don't want to get roll caught that just goes so far so fast I don't know should I just spam what you call it set it special lances at him That, uh... Unfortunately, that common azure didn't do the damage I needed it to.
I was actually thumbing over going straight for uh, Godskin Duo because I don't have the uh, the advantage in this fight. I was like, oh, I should just go for Godskin Duo straight so I can come back with better weapons. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this. Heal. I just need my actual mimics here to stop sucking. Like, that was... Like, if you could figure that out, you'd be so much better as a summon. Alright. Go ahead and get you out of here. There. Can you like stop being useless? Golly. That's gonna be a big one. Oh man, he was up in the air for it. Alright. Well, I completely missed. Pointless. It's pointless at that point. There's no reason to keep fighting him other than else under those circumstances. I just gotta accept the L that I completely whiffed on him. But we're almost there. I'm gonna land that combo eventually. Leave you me, I will. Terra Magica. Get that up and going. It's still five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is. Um. Ooh. Yikes. That's why you send it back down, guys. So you don't have to do that. Unless you've already beaten him, then leaving it at the top is better. Alright. So I'm mimic. Heal. Take down the dual blader first. That's what I'm talking about, Mimic. That's how you do it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hit this guy. Or he kills my Mimic. Turn magic up. I'm not planning on that actually being a factor. In one place, ain't it? <laughs> you almost got that. Got me out of here. Mimic! Seriously!
Oh, why did I not roll left? Well, I didn't really have space left. Let me get going the other way, actually. Heal. Alright, no response to my heal. Should be able to bleed according to your. That comes out really fast. That's why it's such a good roll catch for when you're already panicking. You just double roll really fast. He'll miss you every time, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, I was a little late there. I'm getting kind of, uh... I'm trying to reaction roll it instead of, like, rolling just because, uh, I see it. I've gotten used to that. <laughs> cool. That's no longer catching me. <laughs> One, two, three. The triple dodge is even better. Because it kind of guarantees that you're not going to get hit by the follow up. Two, two. Oh! I was a little late there. Fine. I don't even know if I managed that on time. <sighs> okay. Okay, cool. So, why did I go this way first? That's probably the question you guys are asking, right? Why did I go fight Commander Niao instead of going to get the upgraded, um, whatever. Upgraded plus 24 weapons. Alright, so this is why. After I get that, this one point in Arcane, I'm not going to get... Hog Tree Medallion. Oh, look at it. Here's your Hog Tree. So this is why I did this. Because now we can go back to Round Table Hold. Veterans armor. Now go forth. Now veterans armor. It's gonna make us a little heavy. Okay, cool. We're not done yet though. We are not done yet.
Go to our boy Bach here. Medium load, 56 poise, and most importantly, this is what peak performance looks like. Drippage. Uh, so yeah, this is our finalized build as far as the drip goes. So this is our first time seeing it in its full glory. glory. I think it looked better with the cape with her head on it though. I might switch back and forth between Radon's Lion Armor unaltered and this one altered. This one gives just one more point of poise though which makes it strictly superior for 99% of PvP. With people running around two handing stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 4. To do that we have to be two mandatory story bosses so let's go take him down start from church of repose <laughs> just makes your body look really weird I'm not gonna lie it does look super weird and considering that I'm not going to need the mask for uh I might end up swapping the mask for Alvin or a mask because I don't need the mask for uh, I'm not going to be doing any um, what you call it well no I'm leaving it like this I gotta look at a difference in damage so I swore fine twig you want to go with twig and you want to go with I just need to take less damage in general, so let's go op line. He doesn't really do any build ups. Alright. We're gonna swap again. So we're gonna put our Sapuko on our main weapon. We're gonna. Uh, we don't need this for that battle. We do need this for that battle. So Lord of the Bloods Exaltation. Um, I could go get White Mask for this, just to make sure I'm getting maximum damage. I do want to look at is my armaments. So right arm at one and left arm at one. I want to see the difference in their damage. As well as the uh so damage strictly goes down for all weapons if I do that. If I swap to this, left arm at two is the only weapon that drops in damage. If I swap to this, where did my poise go? Looks like poison is the same. So if I use Obner Mask Always the same. Left arm with two drops, which is uh, the carrion night shield, which doesn't matter. So in this case, yeah, use Omnarch mask is strictly superior. The three extra and is not doing anything for me somehow. Oh wait wait wait, I'm tripping. Sorcery scaling 262. I don't think sorcery scaling is actually described on this page, so I have to go here. And then look at it. Yeah, 261. That's still not. That's not a drop, really. 261 versus 262. Yeah, no, I'm good to go. It's only you see arcane scaling. That's probably why. Oh, it's C and scaling. So I'm increasing. Yeah, nah, nah. This. Honestly, this might be. <laughs> this might be what right looks like because it doesn't cost me any stamina. This might be uh, even better um, than the one I had planned, which was the Witch's Glenstone Crown. Just because it only cost me one point so far. It only cost me one point of uh, sorcery scaling. And I, I'm not sure what it does to my... I'm, I, the damage output is the same. The bleed buildup is higher. Yeah, the big issue would be if I want to use like a magic ash of war, it would be it would be a huge loss. But under these circumstances, it's absolutely fine. Um, yeah. 
before I go there. I still don't have a <laughs> Mimic Tier 8 just because I have not found a, a, a Ghost 8. Alright. So the reason we want to start from the Church of Repose instead of any other spot is because if you take this route, you get to summon Alexander. I hate those stupid things. Those stupid hands. Yeah? So just go as far as it runs as you can. There is a ADSS in there, an Ancient Dragonsmith Stone in there if you want to go get it. I need four, roughly, for this build. Two for my harpoons, one for the um, one for the staff, and then one more for just any. I gotta figure out a weapon that I'm going to use. That can use the last one. Um, did I miss Alexander? His his summon sign should be like out here somewhere. Oh, that's right. I think I gotta go. I'm pretty sure. I gotta go talk to Alexander. Hold up. I gotta go talk to him over here. So that means I gotta beat the Magworm over here again. So, hey, okay, guys, I'm, we're gonna find another Magworm here. So. Here we go, about to find another bagworm. It's gonna be a slightly tougher one this time. This one scaled for this area. So but we do get all the time in the world summit. Oh, wow. That was dumb. I didn't realize he did that much damage that quickly. So last time I fought this guy and beat him, I used Latina to basically um, Oh, I should do this first. It's funny, I spent like the first part of the run trying to keep my health really, really high or pretty much topped off and now I'm just spinning it not caring. Oh wait. I'm not using what you call it. <laughs> that was dumb. Once I figure out how buttons work and how not to get hit every two seconds. That guy is so dead. Alright, let's start by unlocking.
So do you dead. Unless I figure out how buttons work. Alright. I'm here to bathe myself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. I've been making just a thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to the teeth. It's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, I see giants peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burnt yours. Hopefully I don't have to go anywhere else to find this guy. Let me just double check Fextra real quick, because I don't want to have to go find this guy. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy yep. giant's peak doth soar. That's all I had to do to unlock him for this. Now we can go back to where we started. <laughs> Why do I always look at the First Church America? Because it's where I expect the flame room to be, honestly. But it's actually down here. Church. I've already talked to you guys through this part, so I'm not going to repeat myself here. I guess the question is, do I open with my shield up or not? Nah? I think I don't. This isn't Taker's camp, right? Nah. Here it is. He's been tempered in the lava of Mount Kermir. Alright. Oh, that's right. You can't summon if you do this. That's unfortunate. Yikes. All right, let's get started. So you want to focus on his left leg because that's the one that's broken. Lucky cat. The last time I did this was with poison while flight. I think I just accidentally got saved.
My main problem is I don't know if Alexander is even helping out. Hopefully he is, but I don't know. Theoretically, his distraction should be useful. So there's a grace down there, or the other chain, but you don't really want that chain. I just remember I didn't use Sepuku at all yet. That kind of sucks. That's fine. We got pretty far without blood loss. So hopefully, uh, after getting to phase 1.5 without blood loss, we can make really quick work of him. Phase. Thankfully, I didn't run at him. I was too busy healing and run. Panic rolling is very... It's very punished against this guy. I wonder how Marika or whoever convinced this guy to like not just straight up try to burn the Earth Tree. Like, because they left him to tend the thing that can burn the Earth Tree after making him the last of his whole kind. And to me, that just sounds like giving an insurgent a nuke after I don't know if I'm even supposed to be this close to him but let's go let's unlock first and foremost I'm pretty sure it's a more off let's get that back up somehow my guys still have maximum health but that's not going to last for very long I don't even know where these guys are. Yeah, he's tearing through my mimic. Alexander is nowhere to be found.
Alright, very important here to get all these souls. Because there's a lot of them. Legend failed. Yes, sir. Legend was failed. Legend has been failed. So, I'm going to do something that makes no sense in story terms. And I'm going to go straight. Like, normally it would make sense to go do everything else. After, uh... It would make sense, like, kind of just in the flow of things to... To burn the earth tree after you do all this other... Um, after you go to Mogwin Dynasty and all that. So basically, after you finish all the areas locked by, um... Holy shit. <sighs> One last Kaizo trap. <laughs> Basically, after you finish all the areas that are uh, locked by um, the Halic Tree Medallion, you come back and you light this and you go to um, Fair Missoula and then finish out the game would make the most sense because, honestly, once you've already started lighting this thing on fire, why would you actually come back? You know what I'm trying to say? Why would you actually go come back and do all this holly tree stuff? I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair. And death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Tell me. Shall Hold I up. Turn your wounds One more time, baby. Just, just put your hands on me. Yeah, just, just do it. For but a moment. I've been mainless for so long. So mainless. Your ambition. Three levels. Those principles feel good. Three levels. Oh, and I only have 2,000 souls left after this. This feels real good. Alright. Cool. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's... Let's do a little bit of that cardinal sinning, baby. Just a little bit together. Just a little bit. I hate how you have to actually kill her for this to work, or she ends up hate, hate, hating you. Wait, does she like put you to sleep? Then who has the camera? How are we seeing this? Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Deep down you know what's best for yourself, but you hate the thought of her sacrificing her life, but you know that it's over. Cause you already got the other ending that you didn't need. Honestly, I just didn't want to go to the basement. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who 
walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. So the tarnish is the one who walks alongside flame. And he's going to meet the road of death and death, which is Malekith, right? So that means Melina is flame. So, a lot of people think that she's the Glomide Witch or some type of goddess of death. But she describes herself as flame instead. And that makes me think that she has... A, she has a strong connection to the fell flame or some type of flame that hasn't been announced yet but she has a very strong connection to the flame okay cool here we are all alone you and me Privacy, all up in Faramazoo, la uh, uh, uh I'm about to kill God's skin duo, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have any somber nines. That's a good question. Really, probably help if I had some somber nines. I also don't have any, um, this probably won't be that big of an issue, but I also don't have any, uh, Alright, we're here, Kremlin Ferrums. I can pit. Well, that worked out. We can make love in the bedroom. I'm on top of all the bed. I'm kissing you. I'm a We can do it, baby. Okay, fine. Just ignore the fact that, uh, that. Oh, wow, there's another one. Hurry up, hurry up here. There you go. Alright, all that. Yeah. All those slick moves, and what that gets you? Dead. Still. Tell me how you like it, baby. 
Tell me, can I drive you crazy? Alright. So, I'm gonna need a second weapon to... to use alongside this. Uh, Sword of St. Trina. Preferably, it'd be a, uh... uh I don't know if it needs to be a somber weapon or not. Let me see. Let me see what my uh, what my upgrade materials look like. I only have one somber one. That's pretty bad. It looks like I can get two weapons up to somber eight pretty fast. Somber eight is equivalent to a normal eight plus four is twelve plus two uh, plus eight is twenty. So I should go with two somber weapons. Let me see if there's a second somber straight sword I could use that would be strong. Well, first of all, let's see Godskin. I'm pretty sure they're very resistant to uh, to holy. They're kind of resistant to magic. Slash, they're not very resistant to it at all. All right. So if I could use magic, lightning, slash, anything except strike really, strike or holy, or fire, we're, we're in good company. So, straight swords. Alright, straight swords on Fextra. Let's look for a magic damage first, because those are probably going to be the easiest ones for me. Lazuli Glintstone Sword. I have the stats to use it. So let's look at that. Carrying Knight Sword. I have the stats to use that as well. Crystal Sword, I have the stats for. Um, do Godskin Duo, do they take? Do Godskin duo take rot? Honestly, the most, the biggest problem with those guys is isn't they have actually they're actually really weak to rot. So rot and crystal sword would actually work really well if I have the stats for it, and I do not. It's thirteen strength. Which is already gonna. I'm already gonna need 12 decks for Source Saint Trina, right? Yeah. So I can go up in decks. I don't want to go up in anything else, though. Wait. No, I'm stupid. I have I have 12 strength. No, it's 13 strength. That's what's wrong. Yikes. But Rotten Crystal Sword would be the move. What do you need to do to get it? Elf IL. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> if you have to go all the way to Elf IL, you're not, you, I'm not using it for this. Crystal Sword would be okay, but it also needs 13 strength, which I'm not willing to go out of my way for. Carrying a nice sword. Alright, so I said this episode would be action packed, and it will be. I just need to make sure I pick the right sword. Alright, so Lazuli Gritstone Sword drops from enemies. Cool. It does use sombers. Um, I just need to find one somber one or the somber uh the somber uh, bell bearing one, which will be very easy to get. Carry a knight sword. Okay. So that's on the way to uh, the carry a manor.
I think I'll probably end up going with Lazuli Glenstone Sword. Although carrying a Night Sword is nice. It's either that or I get a regular weapon and I put Seppuku on it. <laughs> I just don't know what would be the most uh, receptive to it. Let me sort by physical damage. So cane sword has large, hard, high physical damage at base. So that's probably what I want to use. Cane sword needs a strength of eleven dex. I would like to. N oh wait, actually, never mind. I have to increase my decks anyway, so that's fine. Comes with square off. Can't be infused. I can infuse it with a cold and seppuku, I think. I can. Alright. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with uh, a Colt Cane Sword in one hand, and we'll go with a uh, Sword of a. Uh, sword of St. Trinity. So that way I don't even need to worry about where to get a somber one from. Okay. And I already have both of those weapons so I can just go upgrade them both after I get enough souls to do so. Oh. I'm still trapped until I actually rest at this side of grace. Not gonna move. It's on fire. Everything's on fire. This building's on fire. Oh, she moved. Alright. Go get our uh, our souls up real quick. Oh, that's fine. Um, before I do that. Slower. I think it's legitimately slower to to wait at it. But I can't teleport backwards right now. That's not gonna hit, so you get as close as you can, try to make that hit. There we go. I, 
think I did that too early. I don't think he hit the... He didn't hit the, the plane yet. There we go. Let's keep going to 100k. Or die. That's fine too. I just don't like. Once you can hear it, you've got it. There may be a quicker point than that, but that's just what I'm comfortable with. Once you can hear it, you got it. don't use the uh, Lost Ashes War in any playthrough, but I will use it in this playthrough to make Ashes Sapuku, because I'm going to need it anyway. Number nine, so we'll stop right there. Sword train, train, train is actually a really cheap upgrade. Um, next up, we have the cane sword, which we're going to need. Uh, I almost feel like this build should just go for 11 decks, honestly. Or 12. Just to fit in, uh... What you call it? 
then if I go for 12, I might as well go for 13. Yeah, that's the problem. It's, it just becomes a slippery slope. But I do need to somehow get more ghost glove awards for that. Am I actually going to... I'm going to end the stream by killing Goskin Duo. That's what I am going to do. That's up to plus three. That's up to plus six. That's up to plus nine. That's good to go. That's up to plus fifteen. And that is up to plus eighteen. Okay. Let's go pump cane sword real quick. I think I might have put Cane Sword away already. I probably did. Yeah, I'm like 100% sure I did already. So, sort your chest. So I did get extremely lucky to actually pick up Cane Sword. Um, I was not planning on doing that at the beginning of the run, but it just happens to be what right looks like. So we're going to keep it. Um. I don't think I even need this. And if I was going to pick up Cane Sword anyway, then I should probably should use Cane Sword and Sword of Saint Trina against Electo. Or I'm not sure if Sword of Saint Trina would have been worth it, but Cane Sword at least. Sir. Oh, I wasn't planning on pumping it in 19. Oh well. Oh well. So now we have... Before we do that. Actually, let's do it now. Do it now. Let's go down. Do it down. Yeah, yeah. Sword Saint Trinity just hits way harder. You look at it. But anyway. No, I should have to. Oh. So if I did it that way, I'd lose what? Two. 
235 to 236. Oh, I'd gain one. But if I do it the right way, 287. It's nice. 235 to 287. It's still not matching up to. It's still no, nowhere near as clo to close to uh, what you call it, but it's decent. Okay. Do I want heals or do I want exaltation? Probably exaltation. Alright. So now we have a. Dexy build. Slightly more Dexy build. It's only three extra decks than I had before. But it is a change in how I was moving. Okay, next up, I have to go, uh, well, let's start here. So I can fix anything else after the fact. Okay. I got one smithy so one. <laughs> Alright. I gotta go find uh where wherever the ghost picker's uh bell bearing two is. Real quick. And honestly bell bearing three as well. It's an L-file. Okay, I guess I'm not going to go get that. What about number two? Noxtella. The corner of a small room. Okay, that's fine. I can go to Noxtella real quick. Try to find it. I'm not looking on weight. Are these weapons lighter or heavier? They look significantly lighter. Yeah, they are. And then after that, I need to find a seven and an eight. A seven, two eights, and two nines. Noxtella is over here. Yeah, I'm out of. inside of a room.
I love that. That's the best feeling when you get the the c -c combo breaker. Or I guess that's just straight up combo. Um. Was this it? This looks a lot like it. That was a good sign to find out if these things bleed. Got it. Okay. I actually don't think I have enough. Yeah, hold up. So the trick is, I'm trying to be fast enough to actually hit it, and it's not working for me at all. Ugh. Like, yeah, if it comes around far enough. Perfect. Yeah, he's dead. Here we are. Mm, we'll leave it as is. All right, so. Pretty sure, yeah, I have a. Uh, I don't think Great Show Shoulder is going to be worth anything anymore. Um, Where's my lantern? Here we go. Lantern. Mimic. Dung Eater. Go in that order. The 
ton of sheets full, but yeah. And then Stormhawk Dean. Actually, it was truly useful. I haven't even thought about Tish. Then Stormhawk Dean. Alright, so that's how many I gotta get. So I need enough one through sixes for three. I already did that one. Oh, come on. There we go. One more for safety's sake. Because these upgrades are actually extraordinarily expensive. There we go. Wait for that. Now we're gonna go 37. Two of these, three of these, two of these actually. I think that should be enough. And to be honest, I could use my mimic as well. I could use my mimic with the same exact setup that I'm about to use, and it should be. Good. Wait. Not weapons. I see. Oh, it's not so nasty. You have my thing. I'll try and talk. I know it was to craft a weapon fierce, and if that's the case. So we're gonna take her to plus six real quick. Well, here's the thing, I can always put off upgrading Tish. I can. Because I'm going to get the Ghost 9 from uh, Alphael. And I can put off upgrading this guy too. So I really only have to worry about these three. So based on that, I need to find 1 7, 3 eights, and right now 2 9s. Or do I just try a plus six here and hope that it survives? I could go one seven or actually zero. Oh, 
zero sevens, two eights, and then just the souls to upgrade them. I think I have a nine already. I just need two weights. It's a ghost eight. Where do you find it? Two found on opposite sides of the shallow river flowing through Noxtella Eternal City. Two found under the bridge in a nocturnal still city. Eternal City. All right, so it looks like my Noxtella is like the the quickest way to get these. Yeah, Noxtella has four of them. River and under the bridge. So back to Noxtella we go. Note to self: in future playthroughs. <laughs> Actually explore Noxtella. Uh, no horse. That's right. That sucks so bad. The sauce area is really missing for me. It's a horse. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't need, uh... Dual loading straight swords is really, really strong, by the way. Just letting you know. There's a reason I really like this setup going into Koskin Duo. 
It's because it's really, really, really strong. Okay. There's one ghost state. Here's what we're gonna do. Then there's, oh, under the bridge. Let's go this way. Gosh, getting fucked up. Is it under the bridge? Oh, is it up there? How many other bridges are there? There's one over there. Let's go see if there's... If it's over there under that bridge. Well, I'll just pass through there, so... I'm not sure. One further up the stream. Alright, so there's a third one here. Um, 
It says further upstream. I'm pretty sure this is downstream. Potato, potato. Oh, there it is. That was dumb. I'm pretty sure Ghost Nines are like locked away in the hardest places to get to, right? Or in Consecrated Snowfield, which is also annoying to get to. Yikes. <laughs> Thought I was safe there. Yeah, they're pretty difficult to get, except for the 
one that you're given. So after getting that one, you're pretty much expected to be where you need to be. You get to pick one spirit to take to level nine until you are ready to take on some really, really tough stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy some more. Why am I always out of souls? This may end up being a super long video. I'm absolutely fine with that. That looks good. Or, or, or I'll just miss. That works. So you just move left. Try not to miss. I have two of those? Where did I get a second ghost? Huh? When did I get a second ghost? I know I got the one down on Noxtello Basin Grace. Did I grab it from... Yeah, that's probably the only place that makes sense. It can be found near the Grand Cloister. Oh, I might have gotten it from Grand Cloister. That makes sense. That make perfect sense. If I got it from Grand Cloister. Oh yeah, I totally got it from Grand Cloister. Okay, cool. That's where I got the second one from. This one's not one on the page because it's way earlier in the game than uh, a lot of the ones that follow. So... No, I want my memory maxed out. I'm pretty sure I want Tish maxed out. I just don't know how many of those you get. Yeah, you can get another one pretty quickly. Um, so. I'm going to try to make it work with plus 8 here, because I really do. I really do want to, uh, I need to go do it two more times. I really do want to, um, make sure I'm maximizing my, uh, my uses of um, Tish and others. I 
I've yet to use Dung Eater just because I've never had him upgraded. I see. Okay. Cool. So as it stands, we can upgrade either Dung Eater or Dolores to plus nine, but we're not going to. Gonna go ahead and put my cocaine sword back on, and we're gonna go finish up uh, Fair Missoula real quick. What is going on here? Oh, cause I never got the. Uh... Okay, this looks ugly, so I'm just gonna fix it real quick. This looks super ugly. Okay. Come on, we have a dragon. Yikes. A little aggressive, aren't we? I can't heal anymore.
I think I'm. Well, my mimic's a lot worse for wear, but I think I'm doing roughly. Does this thing not have freaking st a poise bar? Because when does it? <laughs> a little bit of clutch there. I was dodging you fucking stupid Is finding this guy strictly necessary? Absolutely not. Does it boost my ego a little bit to see a freaking dragon dying? Absolutely. I don't think this guy gives enough uh, souls to be worth that. Okay, got an ADSS out of it. So they stone eight too. Damn it, Bart. <sighs> My stamina is going to get me killed. Like, it's just in the cards.
Oh, Summerstone Miner's about bearing four. That will let me get anything up to plus eight. As long as I have the, uh, yeah. I didn't even see the jump there. I just knew I just knew it existed. Summer 9, nice. Cool. That'll let me upgrade my Sword of Saint Trina one more time. How do you get down there? I guess you could just jump right. Works. So this is a pretty uh, tough route to follow. I guess these guys don't... I guess these guys don't care about uh, <laughs> sleep at all. How do I want to get? How do I want to tackle that? Let's try it again. Let's just try it the same exact way. So I could take a better path to go to the Godskin Duo. My thing is, if I take that path, um, oh, a faster path, not a better path. <sighs> Shield users. That was actually really difficult. Difficult to the point where I want to try something different for this guy. And I keep forgetting I could use a Puku as well to increase the damage output. So this is a dual wielder. So as you'd expect, he does a crap ton of damage. If you let him get close to you. If you don't, then no worries. I'm pretty sure there's an enemy up here. So I'm gonna take over there. 
and here's the grace I wanted. Now this grace is literally right by God's skin duo. So if you're if you're tired of the run back, this is the best grace to take. And now I'm going to upgrade my Sword of Saint Trina to plus nine. And then I'm just going to burn all my, my cash reserves real fast. Alright, cool. Now we're here. Let's check our inventory. What are we using? We're using twig and we're using upline hearts here. I think that's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. Um Get Dolores queued up. Cool. Yeah, let's go do the dang thing. I can summon somebody? Burn all? Oh cool, so going this way lets you summon somebody too. That's really neat. I didn't know that. Learning new things every day. Bruh, <laughs> it was instant. <laughs> they were on me. <laughs> Look at him, he's going to sleep too. Ah oh, man, that's kind of a little crappy. Alright. Um, well the physique saved me that time from having to redo it, but... Honestly, I don't think I should be doing that. I wish these were just apparent as soon as you got here. Um. Yo, what the heck? He's asleep. I'm gonna mess this guy up.
I was trying to move backwards. What is this bull? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the damage he took though. Oh, that's so stupid. That is so stupid. Yeah, I can kill them very fast if I just am not on on dumb time. Since this doesn't rely on me not getting hit, I can have that ready to go. Psych. I think I could do both without uh losing Source Saint Trina, right? Yeah. This might be a bad. <laughs> this might be bad. <laughs> uh, it just hit me like, yo, this might be really bad. Do I not have... I feel like I don't have what you call it on. Oh. No! Oh. oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health at all. I get way too greedy. Because I can't kill these guys very quickly, so it's not like I need to be super duper careful, but still, I should watch my health a little better. And by I, I mean my gank squad. But, I mean, honestly, they're ganking me, so who cares if, they, if I gank them back? Alright. Someone, hurry up. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think there's any reason to have a twig anymore because I just lost all my souls if or something. So let's go to physique. Let's get rid of the twig. Let's find something better to use. Mm -hmm. I'll say this. Because I've been running out of stamina too often. Um, what's this? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, this. I'd probably already beaten him if I had that on. Um, I want to stay back far enough so I don't accidentally aggro them early.
Yeah? Who's back? Heal. Oh, you feeling sleepy, bro? Where the heck is Pike? <laughs> Oh, there she is. She was getting blocked by a pillar. I was to say, where the heck is she? Alright. Put her in a spot where she gets blocked by a pillar does not work. I kind of need to put her in a spot where she can fire. It's been three hours, honestly. But it's not been the worst three hours of my life. I know there's been a couple of times while I've been on Wiki and you guys haven't been able to see what I'm looking at. Sorry about that. I'm not playing on PC, so you're just not going to see what I can see. Alright, this time, make sure I summon Delore. Oh, God. I already wasted a hell of time. Yeah. Alright. It looks like this is a serviceable spot. Oh god, I just woke him up again, didn't I? It's fine. Back up. Or keep hitting him, you guys. You guys make the rules, alright? It's your all rules. I'm literally the one he's going after. I need to not be the one he's going after so I can keep Mrs. Slumber, slumber up. Oh god. No, no. I'm not getting hit by that. Now I'm just gonna go this way. I figure after killing him five times, they would just stop. But no, they gotta keep it going. Just like that, episode over. We have successfully gotten the smithing stone, um, whatever. Actually, so we won't need Dolores anymore, so we can get rid of her. Get the list. So you can do it with the plus eight Dolores just fine. She didn't die in any of my run-throughs here. Hmm. Where am I going next? That's a good question. So, next episode, we'll be going to...
but oh okay so we're going to um the consecrated snowfield so the game's about to get really 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 hard um like really really hard but Regardless of how difficult it does get, from this position, we'll be able to, uh, get 2 plus 24 weapons. Honestly, I should be able to get 2 plus 25 weapons at this point. So let's see if we can do it. And I need three. So. Uh, 36 of these. And now we just need to farm runes until we can get another 64k. I'm not going to start next episode by farming, so I'm going to end this episode by farming. Sorry, guys. I just don't like the idea of starting an episode by farming. It just doesn't. Seem right to me. Like, if I can avoid doing that, I will. And since I know I'm going to farm, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Do it now. Got this. Cool it down. Cool it down. Keep going. Four. Oh, I missed. There you go. Cool it now. Get to cool it down. Cool it down. Actually, no. I need enough souls to actually upgrade them, so we're not done. If I'm not mistaken, this is a pretty inexpensive weapon to upgrade. But we'll find out in a second. To lose control. Oh. I, want, I bought one extra of those too. Uh, Smithing Stone 8s. I just need to buy 14, right? That'll give me 36. Alright. Now we're going to plus 25 the two spears. I don't, oh, actually, we could plus 25 all three of these. So. All good, bro. I understand. You're real G. So I'll go ahead and hit the staff first.
see if he says anything new. I think after you make him smith a, uh, oh, it's maxed out weapon, he is, uh, it changes a bit. Oh well. Getting maxed out weapons is the most important thing right now. Um. Upgrading the shield is yeah, but. mostly for guard boost and if you don't see your guard boost going up, which it goes up extremely slowly, it's kind of annoying. Alright, anyway. Now we have three completely maxed out weapons. And with these, I should be able to handle the consecrated snow field. Um So to get to the consecrated snow field, we'll have to go back to here. It's a night time. that we are ready to go all right appreciate you guys watching as always peace and chicken grease deuces everybody out there youtube and otherwise